Welcome to my kitchen. It is no secret that food is a big deal in our home. And I am so excited to share elevated everyday meals with you. To me, what goes around the table is just as important as what goes on it. And I'm excited to share that process with you. In this series, we'll have the occasional guest, but today it's just me, and without further ado, here is Around the Table. Today we're making citrus glazed ham and roasted carrots with tahini and pistachios. Easter is coming up, and every year growing up, my mom would make a glazed ham for Easter, and I have carried that tradition. And what I love about it is that it's minimal effort, but it presents beautifully. Let's get started. So I have a spiral cut smoked ham here. You're looking for cured or smoked, not honey glazed. We chuck the packet that it comes with and we focus on making one from scratch. I didn't want a straight brown sugar flavored ham, but I wanted a beautiful balance of sweet citrus and herbs. And the herbs and that balance of flavors, it's what really makes this feel elevated. So we have clementines, apricot preserves, we have shallots and rosemary. And when blended together, you've got that sugar that allows it to create a beautiful caramelization and a great balance of flavors. I have my oven preheating to 350 and I have prepped and sliced my clementines. So I've sliced nine clementines and reserved one for the glaze. I'm going to line the bottom of my roasting pan with these clementines and reserve a few of them for presentation. This is an art, not a science. We're going to line the pan. Mine are slightly overlapping. I just would make sure it's one layer. Don't stack them high and we'll make sure that the bottom of the pan has even distribution. We're placing the clementines at the bottom of the pan for a few reasons. One, when the foil is over the ham, you're getting a great aromatic effect. And also, as the juices release while the ham is cooking, you have a great finisher to drizzle over the ham when it's done. All right, so now we're ready to place the ham in the pan. And then I'm gonna set this aside while I make the glaze. All right, so let's make this glaze. I've got the juice of one clementine, half a cup of apricot preserves, and a third a cup of honey. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard, half a shallot, one tablespoon of rosemary leaves. Then we're gonna blend this all up, super easy. And then eyeball adding about a third of this to the top of the ham. I'm gonna put this in the oven for an hour and then about halfway through, I'm going to add more glaze. We are sharing a full Easter menu on studiomcgee.com. Now I'm gonna share how to make roasted carrots with tahini and pistachios. So we're gonna roast the carrots and then while those are roasting, we're gonna make a tahini sauce and then a mint and pistachio gremolata. A gremolata is an Italian garnish and we're going to do our own spin on it. So I've got my carrots and they've been scrubbed clean and we've left a little bit of the top on because that really adds to the charm and the presentation. So first I'm going to set these on the pan and then I'm gonna drizzle a tablespoon of olive oil over the top. For this dish, you're looking for a small to medium sized carrot. I actually really love the petite carrots at Trader Joe's that come in the bag. They have the stem trimmed and they're all ready for presentation. So I have a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna drizzle this and then add the kosher salt over the top. And then we're gonna just mix this. Now I'm going to put these in the oven at 450 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. While the carrots are roasting, I'm gonna make the gremolata and the tahini sauce, starting with a cup of mint that's been finely chopped. And then I'm gonna add a quarter cup finely chopped pistachios. Then I'm going to zest the lemon and finish it off with three tablespoons of olive oil. Three tablespoons of olive oil. 
and we'll mix that together. Now for the tahini sauce, I have a quarter cup tahini and two tablespoons of water, and I'm going to mix those together. And then I'm going to take the lemon that I just zested and juice it. Okay, so I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of cumin and coriander, and this just helps cut the flavor of the tahini just a little bit. I'm going to spread half of the tahini sauce on the bottom of the platter, and then we'll save the rest for the garnish. I'm gonna pull the carrots out of the oven. Okay, so the carrots are ready. Look at that beautiful char on the bottom. And then when you're placing them on the plate, make sure you do char side up, or a little mix of both sides to give it some really nice variation. I'm going to start by drizzling the tahini sauce over the carrots. Tahini can really soak up the water, and so feel free to just add a little splash of water to get it the right consistency for drizzling. Finishing step, we will add the gremolata and it'll be ready to go. I love that this is so beautiful on the plate. You have vibrant colors and they all work together. They also relate to what the color palette is in some of our other dishes, which is really nice connection point when you're building a menu. These are simple ingredients, but we did them in a way that feels really elevated, which is what I'm all about. And also my kids gobbled these up and so that's a bonus. So this has been in the oven for an hour and I've basted it once and I'm gonna take this out. So I'm gonna baste this one more time and then put it back in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 more minutes. So the ham is ready and I'm gonna take this out of the oven. It smells amazing. The caramelization looks beautiful. I'm gonna spoon some of the drippings over the top. So now it's time for the presentation, which is obviously one of my favorite parts. We don't want to present the ham in the roasting pan. We want to present it beautifully. So over the years, I collect trays and platters, and I think that just considering the season is a big part of my selection. I got this several years ago. It has this beautiful blue floral, and I know that the color palette will work beautifully beautifully with the clementines and the rosemary and the ham itself. And so I set aside a few of my clementine slices and I'm going to just arrange those basically in an oval form across the bottom here, you know, kind of so that they peek out around the outsides of the ham. Get this going. When I'm getting things ready for presentation, I want things to look beautiful, but like imperfectly perfect. I don't want the circle to be a perfect circle. I want a little bit of messiness because that helps just make the food feel more approachable and like you wanna dive in. Always, always have your herbs on hand. So I usually take inspiration from the recipe itself and take one of those herbs and use that as an opportunity for adding that wow factor at the end. So our glaze had rosemary in it. And so I, I mean, this is a ton of rosemary, you don't need that much, but set some aside and then be ready to use the sprigs. I love a sprig, I love a sprig in a vase on a mantle and I love one when I'm presenting. So I'm gonna do these kind of around the edges here so that they kind of come over the edges of my tray and it adds some greenery. Also, it just smells really good. I've got this set here and I'm gonna transfer the ham to the top and then do a few last adjustments. Place it on the tray. So this was pretty much all in the right place. 
Just gonna do a little bit of last minute adjusting here. Maybe a little more. And we're ready to bring it to the table. Moving to the look that we're pairing with our Easter menu. I like to start with a beautiful tablecloth to really set the tone for the entire look. I think that when I am pairing items together, I always look to connect the napkin to the color palette in my tablecloth. And then I always, always use one natural element of sorts, whether that's the napkin ring or it's the charger, the placemat. I love to have a woven or wood element in the mix because it really warms things up. To make my life easier when hosting, I usually set up our dining table the night before or the morning before I start diving into all the cooking. And then I will add the floral arrangement last. You can see that the spring palette is really brought in through the florals. And then we incorporated a few pieces in the floral arrangement that speak to the colors of the food that will be going on the table. So there's a hint of orange and then we've got some greens and you can see that carried into the carrots that we're making as well as how we plated the ham. Just so it ties all together. You don't have to get really scientific about it, but just some threads of continuity bring the whole menu together. So we cooked the ham and the carrots, but there is a full menu on studiomcgee.com that you can go check out and I'll see you next time around the table.